The new Nikon Z50 Mark II is an impressive addition to the Nikon Z series of mirrorless cameras and offers a range of improvements that set it apart from its predecessor, the original Z50. Here's an in-depth review where I discuss the key aspects of the Z50 Mark II and explain why it's a better choice than the original Z50. The Z50 Mark II retains the same 20.9 megapixel APS-C DX format sensor as the original Z50, meaning that the image quality remains at the same high level. The sensor offers excellent detail reproduction, rich colors and impressive low light performance. However, Nikon has improved the Nikon image processing in the Z50 Mark II, resulting in faster processing times and subtle improvements in noise reduction. This makes the Z50 Mark II more suitable for demanding situations, such as night photography or dark interiors. There were expectations that the new camera would have more megapixels. I much prefer 21 megapixels and brilliant performance in dark environments, over 33 megapixels and poorer performance at higher ISO values. I used the original Z50 to photograph my paintings, among other things, which this new Z50 Mark II can of course also do perfectly. I then used these photos for the website, social media and newsletters. This is how I sell my paintings. I also use the Z50 Mark II to photograph animals that serve as inspiration for my paintings. The autofocus is one of the most striking improvements in the Mark II. While the original Z50 already had a solid AF system, the Mark II introduces improved tracking capabilities, especially for moving subjects. Nikon has adjusted the algorithm to make human, bird, car, plane and animal recognition more effective. Combined with faster and more accurate eye detection AF, the Mark II makes it easier to capture sharp images even in dynamic situations. This is a significant advantage over the original Z50 which sometimes struggled with fast or unpredictable movement. The Nikon Z50 Mark II offers an improved burst mode. This makes a big difference for sports and action shots, where speed is of course really important. Nikon has also increased the buffer memory, meaning the Z50 Mark II can better cope with long bursts of photos without delay. The Z50 was already known for its compact design and ergonomic grip, but the Z50 Mark II takes this to the next level. Nikon has made several adjustments to the button layout, making operation feel more intuitive. This makes it a more user-friendly camera for both beginners and advanced users. The camera has become somewhat larger and heavier, which means that slightly heavier lenses balances better on the body. The grip has also become noticeably wider compared to the original Z50. The new Z50 Mark II has by no means become a heavy camera. It remains very compact. One side note I have about the naming of this new device. 
Since the device is larger and has more functionalities than the original Z50, Nikon could actually have called it a Z60 instead of a Z50 Mark II. Also because this device reminds me of the Nikon Z6 version 3. Just a side note for me. Another useful improvement is the addition of one more programmable function key than the original Z50. Allowing users to better adjust the camera to their preferences. This makes the Z50 Mark II more flexible. The Z50 Mark II also comes with a fully tiltable, rotatable screen. Ideal for videographers, but even more important for vertical shoots that require a low position. As an added bonus, you now have the settings that also rotate in the vertical position. Genius! When the screen is not in use, you can rotate it inwards so that it remains protected. Very handy when you only use the viewfinder or when the camera is in your bag. Also a great thing, the touch buttons that were on the screen have also been removed. As a left eye shooter, it happened several times that I accidentally clicked these buttons with my nose. Fortunately, with the Z50 Mark II, we have physical buttons again, along with its similar layout of other Nikon bodies. Another area where the Z50 Mark II shines is the improved connectivity. While the Z50 Mark I already had Snapbridge and Wi-Fi functionality, the Z50 offers a faster and more reliable wireless connection. This allows you to download firmware updates immediately. You can also download additional picture controls via the Nikon Imaging Cloud and you can upload your RAWs and JPEGs to it while you are shooting. This way you have an extra backup during a photo shoot. With the new Z50 there is support for USB charging, so the Z50 Mark II can be charged directly via a power bank. This is a great upgrade for photographers who travel a lot and have a long shooting session. The downside is that you no longer receive a battery charger with your new device. I myself still have the charger from the original Z50 and will continue to use it to charge the batteries of the new Z50 Mark II. I believe that a separate charger is still the best and safest solution to charge your battery. For example, a power failure or peak can have serious consequences for your device if you connected it directly to the power grid with the USB-C cable. But this is of course my personal opinion. Videography also gets a boost with the Z50 Mark II. While the original Z50 could already record 4K video without crop, the Z50 Mark II offers improved video recording options such as better autofocus while filming, higher bit rates for sharper images and an improved microphone and headphone jack. For vloggers and videographers this is a game changer because it offers more control and quality when capturing moving images. You also have with the Z50 Mark II product showcase autofocus. This is very welcome when you show a product in your video. The camera then immediately focuses on the product and not on your eyes. The Nikon Z50 Mark II isn't just a great upgrade from the original Z50. It's a camera 
that addresses the needs of modern photographers and videographers. With improvement in autofocus, speed, connectivity and video recording capabilities, the Z50 Mark II offers a more complete and versatile experience. While the original Z50 remains a great option for those looking for an affordable and reliable DX camera, the additional features of the Z50 Mark II and refinements make it well worth the investment. For photographers who want a compact mirrorless camera that delivers top-tier performance, the Nikon Z50 Mark II is an excellent choice. Are you interested in purchasing the new Nikon Z50 Mark II in the near future or do you already own one? Then definitely share your experience with us. Thanks for watching this video and if you have some time definitely check out one of my videos of lenses that fit perfectly on the new Nikon Z50 Mark II. As for me this is it for now. See you in the next one.